So 2018 has wrapped and I wanted to do a video about my favorite things about 2018 in regards to fragrances and perfumes. This is not a top 20 list where I rank different fragrances, but what I'll be doing is highlighting brands that I've discovered or highlighting fragrances that I've discovered in 2018. So if you're curious to find out what they are, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm gonna start off right away because this is gonna be a long video as we talk about several fragrances from several brands and also just one fragrance from one brand and also brands specifically. So some of the fragrances that I discovered in 2018 were launched earlier than 2018. So we'll be highlighting those. And of course, some of the brands that I discovered this year, we'll be highlighting them as well. So first off, I wanna start off with my favorite niche brand currently, and that is Jovoy, and they had two Two fragrances launched in 2018 and the one that I really love out of the two is Remember Me. This one is all about tea with milk and cardamom. Very spicy, very gourmand, very lactonic and milky. So if you like milky fragrances, cozy, creamy fragrances, Remember Me by Jovoy is really, really yummy. The other one from Jovoy that I really like also, both of them are great but I prefer Remember Me a little more than Pavillon Rouge, and that's Pavillon Rouge, of course. This is a tobacco boozy fragrance. Two gourmandish fragrances, of course. It depends on what you like more. Uh, both of these are big and intense fragrances, but they're not beastly like the previous offerings, which makes sense because these are more gourmandy fragrances. But Pavillon Rouge, again, is a very uh, beautiful tobacco with uh, booze, whiskey, and rum. So check that out as well. So a brand that I really discovered in 2018 is Goldfield & Banks. Started out with a review of Pacific Rock Moss, and then, of course, a review for uh, Wood Infusion, this one right here, two fragrances. And then, of course, later in 2018, they launched Southern Bloom, this very limited edition offering of a floral woody fragrance, which also has a very Tonka bean-like note in it. So a great up and coming brand that's currently being sold at, uh, you know, places like Barney's. So they're getting, they're getting out there, they're having success, which is totally awesome. So the brand's from Australia, and if you like fragrances, um, that are aquatic and sexy, try Pacific Rock Moss, Woody Citrus Orange, try uh, this one here, Wood Infusion, uh, which, now that I think about it, this one kind of goes into a territory of um, a little bit like M7, uh, perhaps. Uh, not 100% sure, but kind of sort of that way because it's got woods and oud and also citruses. And of course, this Southern Bloom is to die for floral fragrance. Really intense, big fragrance. So that's another awesome brand from my discoveries in 2018. The next discovery of 2018 is Rose All Day from Gallagher Fragrances. This has become my favorite fragrance from this house because it's absolutely delicious with rose. Of course, this is a rose gourmand, but not like a Intense Cafe from Montal. This is more a doughy, tonka bean, nutty, things like that. Uh, I guess, I guess there are some slight bit boozy elements as well, but I don't know if that's 100% accurate. I, I suppose it can be, but to me, it's very delicious rose. Uh, awesome, awesome release from this house, and I can't say enough good things about it. This is also beast mode, so be uh, careful with it. So rose all day from Gallagher Fragrances, a great highlight for me from this house for 2018. This next one is from the house of Hubagon, and this is Bois Mystique. Now this one is a great woody fragrance, keeping on with the tradition of uh, Houbegan's Fougère Royale and Cologne Intense, and now we have another masculine release, Bois Mystique, created by uh, Luca Maffei. But very, very classy woody fragrance. There's a shiny uh, quality to it as well, sheen, a very glossy uh, woody fragrance, if that makes sense. So if you don't know this house, check them out. Of course, start with Bougère Royale, then go to Cologne Intense, and then try Bois Mystique, or just go to Bois Mystique if you like woody fragrances that are ultra classy and masculine. So that one's another great discovery from 2018. This next one is from the house of Louis Vuitton, and this is Ombre Nomade, this one right here. This came out along with the five men's releases from earlier this year. Uh, even though the men's releases are great, I have every single one of them, L'Immensité, Orage, Al Hassard, Nouveau Monde, and um, 
Sur La Route. I find this one, the uh, Ombre Nomad, to be the better. But this one actually is a very limited run, so it's hard to get. You have to be at the right place at the right time, or the right Louis Vuitton boutique if they have it there, because they get one or two in every so often, and it sells out. But this one's all about a very spicy rose and oud. Woody, rose, really, really good fragrance. I really love it, and it turns out to be my favorite from the collection. Really close behind Orage, which is really awesome patchouli. So, great collection of fragrances now from Louis Vuitton. Check them out. Great luxury fragrances, of course. So this is Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton. This next one is a discovery in 2018 that I'm head over heels for. This is from the house of Frederick Mall, and this is Promise. And what I like about this is the apple, woody, barrel-aged, boozy quality. There's some roses in here as well, but the roses, um, they're there. But it's more apple, it's more, um, uh, it's more woody notes, barrel age. It's, there's a dominant um, papyrus note in here and it's kind of giving it that barrel age kind of smell to it. So if you don't know Promise, do check it out. It's from the Desert Collection, I think it's called, along with Dawn and um, The Night, which are a hefty price tag to pay for those. This one doesn't seem to be as hefty as those, but it is on the pricier side. It's close to $400, $300 something dollars. So Promise is great, boozy fragrance. If you don't know it, do definitely check this one out because I highly recommend it. This next one is from the House of Fortin Manley, and this is 40 Thieves, this one right here. A great highlight for me from 2018. And this one is a very incense smoky, uh, balsamic, uh, resinous fragrance, if that makes sense. Very ambery, it, it kind of similarly goes into almost in the direction of amber absolutely from the brand, but doesn't stop there. It does other things, of course. And I find the DNA in here more than amber absolutely, if that makes sense, because the DNA is also an amber absolutely. So quality release, I love the way this smells, and it's, uh, I think that once uh, things like this come out from brands, uh, we know that in the future they're gonna launch some awesome uh, offerings. So I can't wait to see what they're gonna go, which direction they're gonna go, because I'm anticipating um, that uh, from this brand. So 40 Thieves, if you like ambery fragrances, smoky balsamic fragrances, definitely one to try, 40 Thieves. So another one that I reviewed is from a house called Panna London, and this is Pink Champagne Truffle, a gourmand fragrance that I'm head over heels for. It smells delicious, and it has, uh, you know, uh, chocolates in here. It's got champagne and roses and some berries, like raspberries. It smells like if you open up a, a box of chocolates, fruity, chocolate covered fruity raspberries or boozy champagne or things like that. It's absolutely delicious. So if you like gourmand fragrances, this is definitely one to try. So Panna London's Pink Champagne Truffle, I have a review for it, check it out. And this was definitely a highlight and um, awesome discovery for me in 2018. So another brand I wanna talk about is actually the brand overall for me to discover in 2018. It's a brand that's been around for a while, but I just discovered them in 2018 and started wearing their fragrances and talking about them on the channel. The brand I'm talking about is Parfums and Nicolai and the fragrance I started off with is Cap Neroli which was launched in 2018. One of the best beautiful, fresh, refreshing Neroli fragrances. Ultra green, ultra uh, citrus floral, but really refreshing. So Cap Neroli is one that I discovered. But the brand has tons of fragrances. Fig Tea, New York Intense, Musk Intense, um, uh, Curcuba, of course, uh, Patchouli Intense, all great, great releases from this house. And if you don't know this house, definitely worth discovering. Check out my videos uh, around this house on my channel if you're curious to discover their fragrances because I highly recommend them. It's a great, great underrated niche house that should be spoken about in the fragrance community. Another fragrance that I discovered, actually I didn't discover fragrance, it's the brand, and the brand is Parlez-moi de Parfum, this one right here, Speak To Me Perfume. I reviewed the fragrance uh, Papyrus Oud 71, this one right here, and the fragrance has, uh, the brand has really, really awesome fragrances such as a great Neroli, the Noel fragrance is awesome, the Milky Musk is great, and many, many more. The Oris Tattoo is also great, the Woody uh, fragrance they have. Great collection of scents and totally worth discovering. If you don't know this house, check out my review for 
this fragrance, Papyrus Oud 71, which is sort of similar to Gucci Pour Homme. Actually, it's, it's Gucci Pour Homme Reborn, and it's created by the same perfu perfumer that created Gucci Pour Homme because the brand, Parlement de Parfum, was started by Benjamin Almarac, who was the son of Michel Almarac, the perfumer. So check out Parlement de Parfum, a great collection of fragrances worth discovering uh, in the fragrance community. Another brand that I discovered in uh, 2018 is a fragrance house called The Harmonist and they have two awesome fragrances that I really love and I have bottles of. The uh, Guiding Water here in the Pure Perfume Edition, which is absolutely divine, and Sacred Water in the EDP de Parfum Edition. Both of the waters were my favorites from the collection. I also like Metal Rose, I like Golden Wood, and a few others from the collection, but man, the waters are awesome. Even though I'm thinking they're gonna go into an aquatic territory, they don't. This one's a fruity water, but this is a the Parfum, the Pure Perfume Concentrated Edition, absolutely delicious. And this one is an EDP of Sacred Water. And this one is, you know, the original edition of the fragrance. And this one is all about a very incense-y uh, aquatic scent. So think of a church right on the water where you can smell the, um, the uh, ocean or the sea, the oceanic smells, the, the watery um, aquatic smells, along with like incense. So good, so, so good. So check out the Harmonist. And the Harmonist fragrances are sold at Barney's and they are also decantable. As you can see, you can refill them. So cool fragrances from the Harmonist, a great, great discovery for me. Another discovery that was a re-release or relaunch from the house of Tom Ford, and that is Ombre Leather. It used to be Ombre Leather 16. They relaunched it as this. I think it's a great highlight. It's a great designer release, pricier designer release because it's on the pricier side of $175 for 100 ml. But wow, what a scent it is. I really loved the original ombre uh, leather and I'm glad now it's in their part of their regular lineup. It deserves it because it's not as intense as the Tuscan leather but still has the intensity and I find this one to be a little fruitier and still a little more accessible. A little more people that are just into designers would be able to wear something like this because uh, it doesn't go full on intense uh, like Tuscan leather where you get anosmic because it's so strong. So this is Tom, Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. A great, great discovery for me in 2018. Three fragrances from the House of Paris Monte Carlo were launched last year uh, in 2018 uh, that are dedicated to citruses. So we have Bergamato de Calabria, this one right here. Mandarino de Cecilia, this one right here. And Cedro di Diamante, this one right here. The two of my favorites are Mandarino de Cecilia and Bergamato di Calabria. Both of them are really, really delicious. They're freshy, so if you like fresh fragrances, definitely worth to try. I'm not saying this one is bad, it's great, but I prefer these two uh, way over that one. It's just tastes, you know? But the, the bergamot is my favorite, absolute favorite out of the whole three because it's a great bergamot. So cozy and comfy, but very fresh and refreshing. So if you like your citruses, definitely try the three citruses from the house of Paris Monte Carlo because I kid you not, they're great. Really, really great fragrances. And you know what? They're part of the same family as Hubegon. So it's the same family, two different brands but these ones are awesome, check them out. Next I discovered two fragrances in 2018 from the house of Zerzhov, Pico Vaya Dama, this one right here, orgasmic fragrance, and then of course, Corallo, this one right here from the Casamorati collection. It's Zerzhov, but it's Casamorati. This one is an aldehyde, uh, sexy, elegant, flowy fragrance, which kind of, oh my God, it's to die for. As soon as I smell it, it's like, my eyes pop, if that makes sense. Pricey, but awesome fragrance from the house of Zerzhov. Definitely worth talking about. If you don't know it, you must smell it because it is top notch. And then Corallo is very, very unique um, green iris fragrance. Powdery with green notes. Totally suits the bottle, as you can see. Um, top notch, top quality fragrance. This is to die for fragrance, um, amazing. Uh, it's, it's, the iris is so nice, but I've never seen it 
blended with like green notes because green notes totally go in a different direction, not with the iris, but here it's magically intervo interwoven together to create a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So if you don't know this one, Corallo, check it out. This is one of their exclusives, unfortunately. So we had a fragrance uh, house that I discovered this year that I really uh, fell in love with and the house is Sarah Baker Perfumes. And the fragrance that I'm head over heels in this house is Leopard, this one right here. And I love this one because it's just a very unique combo of notes, but really love the house because I love their concept. And the fragrances are all inspired by fabric motifs. This is uh, Leopard, as you can see. But uh, of course, you recently saw me review um, the Sarah Baker Perfumes Jungle Jezebel, but there's also uh, Greek Keys, there's Lace, there's Tartan. So many different fragrances inspired from fabric motifs, of course. So if you like that idea, definitely check out Sarah Baker Perfumes because I highly recommend the, the fragrances and the unique concept behind them. A fragrance that I loved in 2018 was a freshie. It's called Sun Drunk. Uh, a great fragrance from the House of Imaginary Authors. Uh, this is kind of like Orange Crush Come Alive, but not necessarily uh, fizzy, and it's just very orangey. Although I guess I can see some fizziness here as well, but a, a very, very happy, uplifting fragrance. If you like happy fragrances, if you like uplifting fragrances, uh, if you like fragrances to wake you up when you're kind of down, this is the kind of fragrance to wear. Um, Great, great release. I think it's a highlight from 2018 for me because it's just so happy and uplifting. This is Sun Drunk. This is a fragrance I discovered at Pitti in Florence called Bohemian Woods from Atelier Oblique. Now, what I like about this one is because it's got like this churchy, woody, uh, moldy kind of, not moldy as much, but like just old church interior woody smell with like bright, spicy, aromatic licorice. Man, it is so, so good. Uh, it's the combination, almost like the combination of sacred water from uh, here because the woody notes, in the, this kind of smells like incense from church, but it also smells like the interior of the church. Whereas here as well, like you smell like this old building interior where you have this like special kind of like a old smell. It's here, Bohemian Woods. So, so good. This is a brand that I want to discover more, but this is a, a fragrance. Um, I really enjoy and the whole green licorice vibe in here is also quite amazing. So if you don't know this house, do check them out, Atelier Oblique. I think we're going to hear a lot about them. And another brand new fragrance from a new house that's been resurrected of an old house, Ciro, and this is Chevalier de la Nuit, this one right here. I reacted to this so awesomely when I first smelled it at Pity. Uh, it, the reaction I had to this fragrance was almost like the reaction I had to the very first time I smelled L'Instant de Guerlain pour Homme Extreme Lidge, or which is just called L'Instant de Guerlain pour Homme now. But it's very much like that. It's a very green patchouli, slightly licorice-y, slightly green, like uh, green tea maybe, green mate. But uh, if you like fragrances like Tempo from Diptyque, Lidge, um, Orage from um, Louis Vuitton, uh, this is definitely one for you to try. It's so good. It does have this like licorice-y anise vibe, but it's also very green and patchouli. Really, really great. Chevalier de la Nuit from Ciro Fragrances. Awesome stuff. Two more to go. A great rediscovery in 2018 is from the House of Parfums de Marly, Carlisle. This was actually a rediscovery in 2018 because they released it everywhere in 2018. Prior to 2018, it was only exclusively available in Paris, but I had my bottle since then. But I'm so glad I rediscovered it in 2018 when they relaunched it and I got to review it for you because it's one of the best fragrances from this house. And it's all very creamy, woody, guyac wood and spices like cardamom. Um, awesome release, very, very good release and definitely deserves the hype around this one. If you don't know Carlisle, do check it out. Last but not least, from the house of Atelier d'Azores, two of their fragrances from earlier uh, in 2018. Crepuscule des Ames and Nuda Veritas were really, really awesome highlights for me. Crepuscule is so sexy, so sexy with the Hyrax note, but it has this like very um, classic, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, but when I smell it, it reminds me of things I've smelled in the past, my scent memories from the past as a kid. It just brings them back. I don't know what it is about them. It's a very modern scent, but something in here just gives it a very like, um, 
a scent memory uh, wake up uh, effect to me. Like just wakes me up and go, whoa, what's that smell? I still can't figure it out, but that's exactly the reaction I had to Crepuscule des Ames when I first smelled it back in early 2018. The other one that I really liked, and um, it is uh, Nuda Verita, this one right here. It's a floral aquatic scent and I'm not a big flat fan of floral. I mean, I'm not a big fan of aquatic fragrances, but this one reacts to me really awesomely. The, the thing about 2018 for me was florals were big for me and aquatics were big. And before 2018, I rarely spoke about floral fragrances and I rarely spoke about aquatic fragrances. But this is the kind of fragrance that changed it for me with aquatics and along with Pacific Rock Moths. Both of them were aquatic, are, are aquatic and both of them are fragrances that I really, really enjoyed in 2018. So that's it. That's the, all the fragrances. And I look forward to 2019, of course. This is a brand new year. Lots of smelling to do, lots of exploring and discovering of brands and fragrances. So guys, are you familiar with these fragrances? Do you know them? Do you have them? Or have you been curious to own them um, because I've spoken about them on the channel? Do let me know. And if you have any one of these that you really love, let me know as well. And also, of course, uh, if you hate any of them, because I know some of you might hate some of these. Um, we're not all similar. We don't have the same tastes. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>